Howdy, Jim. Hello, Skeet. Howdy, Horsetail. In time for a blowout, Jim? No, no blowout. We quit being wild. We're saving our money and making the old ranch pay for itself. Well, thanks, Jim. Bring us some more. Don't worry, I will. Dan, I was just telling the sheriff here that deal he wants to go into isn't safe. He's right, Hickory. You better leave your $10,000 right here. You'll do the wise thing, and I'm sure you won't for it. And remember, there's nothing so safe as money in the bank. See you again, Hickory. Yes, sir. Goodbye. That was close. Say, what would we have done if he hadn't have gone without his money? <laughs> I reckon we'd have had to shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> well, seriously, Ben, we've got to raise $20,000 by the time the bank examiner comes around again. Yeah, and we can't beg or borrow, well, so... Well, there's no place we can steal $20,000. Not in real money. There's nobody in this end of the territory got that much. We got that much right here in the bank? Yes, but well, what good would it do to rob ourselves? I was just thinking... If we could make somebody else responsible for that money, and then steal it back from them, they'd owe it to us. Who would? But the railroad would, if we shipped the money, and a train should happen to get held up. Well, I'd just as soon go to jail for bad banking as for train robbing. But we'd have to blame somebody else for the robbery. Yeah, but who? Uh, that's it. Who? Well, what do you want? Reckon you remember me, Mr. McKee. No, I can't say I do. I'm Jim Bonner, the ranch owner whose cattle got killed in that wreck about six months ago. I come to see when you're going to settle for them. Oh, I told you to take that up with a claim agent. Just a minute, please. You keep telling me to take it up with a claim agent. The claim agent keeps telling me to take it up with you. I'm getting tired of this buck passing. Yeah, and I'm getting tired of your lip, cowboy. Go on, get out of here. That's a public waiting room, ain't it? Ah, the public, my eye. And if you don't get out of here, I'll throw you out. Yeah, and if you do, it'll be the last guy you ever throw out. Is that so? Get out of here. Go on, get out of here. Get out. Go on, I want get out of here. Things lively. Go on, I don't. Stay out. Hey, can you fellas figure out a way to get that agent out of there for me? Yes. I can go in there and give him a kick in the seat of the pants and he'll run me out of there. Uh, that's a salt and battery horse tail. Besides, you're getting too old for it. I can pull him out of there for you, Jim. You can't tell him anything. I've got a scheme all figured out. Now, Skeeter, don't do anything you'll get arrested for. I won't.
Just like I promised, you're leaving town. We don't stand for any gunplay or gun toting in this town. I, I guess I done wrong. I'm, I must have lost my temper again. <laughs> oh, I don't think we'll press any charges against them, Sheriff, as long as he agrees to get out of town. Is that all right with you, McKee? Yeah. You know, uh, we're going to teach you railroad folks to treat us cowboys with some respect. You better get going. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't take the law in your own hands again, Jim. Leave that to me. Oh, Hickory, we wouldn't do that for the world. I reckon the whole world knows who's got a grudge against the railroad. If the train should happen to get robbed, it sure would look mighty bad for Jim and Horsetail and Skeet. I'll try to get enough money together, and you round up some reliable boys. In about a week, you are... What are you doing here, Jim? Looking for trouble? No. We just thought we'd come over and get acquainted with a new station agent. Go ahead. Jim, this new station agent must be a cur. Say, hey, Skeet. Don't do anything you'll get arrested for. I won't. Hey, you. Give me the key. What'd you do? Nothing. The railroad's got us licked this time. What? That new agent's got me buffalo. Not me.
How do you do, miss? So you're the new agent. Uh-huh. Gee, that's fine. You know, I ship a lot of cattle out of here every season. You and I are going to do a lot of business together. I'm Jim Bonner. How do you do, Mr. Bonner? I've heard of you. I've been warned to look out for you and your cowboy. Oh, but... Well, I'm ready for you. You're not going to run me out of town like you did the last agent. Oh, mess, you've got me all wrong. There's no use talking. I've heard all about you. Yeah? Well, you might change your mind about me sometime. Well, Jim, are you taking her to the barn dance? I ain't asked her, yeah. No, and you ain't going to. Oh, yes, I am. But I ain't got around to it. Pardon me for asking, but did you lock the station when you left? Of course. Why? Well, Jim Bonner and his gang's in town. And you know they got a grudge against the railroad. The sheriff warned me, too. But I met Mr. Bonner this morning. And he didn't seem so terrible. A hard character, miss. Oh, why, I don't think so. He might be interesting. Someone took an interest in him. About Jim? Yes. And what do you think? She's getting interested in him. Chances are she's going to try to reform him. <laughs> That's just like a woman. Well, I'll be. All right, they won't come back. Oh, it's, it's Mr. Barner. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was just wonderful of you. Oh, any of the other boys would have done the same thing if they'd have had the chance. Are you all right? Yes, thanks to you. Oh, oh I've lost one of them. Huh? I've lost one. Oh, here it is, out here. Oh, yes. That don't fit into our plans at all. No. Well, we'll have to do something about that. Oh, I beg your pardon. I suppose you don't meet many women here in Rawhide. Oh, that's right, we don't. I think there ought to be more of them. See, the refining influence of the women would be better for the men, don't you think so? Yeah, that's what I told my mother. Your mother? Yes, you see, uh, this town's too rough for her. So I bought her a home down in Almagardo. And I catch the early morning train every Sunday to go to church with her. Oh. Oh. Well, what's the so funny about that? 
Well, the sheriff told me you were one of the local bad men. Oh, old Hickory. Yeah, he doesn't like me anymore. I played a practical joke on him once. <laughs> It's going to be a lot of fun. Can I take you? Really, I shouldn't go. Oh, why not? You can lock up the station. Oh, no, I couldn't do that. Come on. Oh, no, I just can't go. Thanks again. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now? Just say something insulting about the girl. He started himself. Good evening, Miss Mead. Good evening, Miss Murdoch. Hey, I want to speak to Jim for a moment. Do you think you can spare him? Well, I think so. Will you excuse me, please? Certainly. Pleasant evening, Miss Mary. I'm having a splendid time. I hope you keep on having it. Well, why not? You came with the wrong man. Oh, I don't believe that anymore. A bad hombre, miss. Always in trouble. We wouldn't have let him come in here at all, only we didn't want to embarrass you. Mr. Murdoch, just what have you against Mr. Bonner? <laughs> why, nothing. If you don't believe me, wait and see. Why, you...
Let his friends take care of him. Who started this rough house? Why, like Jim Bonner and his partners. We've had just about enough of you at this dance. You better leave here before I lock you up. I should have jailed you this afternoon for turning them steers loose on the street. I seen you run them out of the butcher's corral. Get going, and remember you're on your good behavior. Mr. Murdoch, would you please take me home? After the last dance, Miss Marion. been doing anything, sure. Shut up and get out of here. I don't see nothing to get sore about. Get going. shipping $25,000 to El Paso on the down train. And I'd like your protection to the station. Well, sure, Ben, but what's the idea of asking protection? There are more bad citizens in town than usual, sir. We can get along without you for a spell. Make tracks for your ranch. Speaking for Ben Murdoch, ain't you, Sheriff? So you're aiming to give us a bad name and then hang us, huh, Ben? Well, look out, we don't hang you first. That's enough. Mosey along, pronto. Well, everything's all ready for this evening, eh? Yeah. Me and the boys figured we'd pull the job about sundown, where the railroad cuts through Big Bear Canyon. wrong with that train. Never stopped there. Let's see what's the matter.
a holdup. Somebody's robbing that train. Yeah, well, steamed out, too. Let's catch him. We'll show Rawhide we're full of law and order. Wait a minute. We haven't got our guns. If we go down there without them, we'll get shot. Yeah, that's right, too. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll trail them. out on our own range. We won't lose them even after dark. We can take our time. Well, just to make sure, you'd better ride through a few more herds of cattle on the way back to the ranch. Well, ain't you coming with us? No, I'm heading for town with this money. By the way, sure, the sheriff is after us for this time, so the best place for the money is in town. I'm going to put it right back in the bank. All right. See you later, boss. Under arrest. But we didn't rob the train. I got this from one of the men who did. That's so? Who was it? Huh. Say, if I'd have stopped fighting long enough to tell you, they'd kill me. But look, I'll tell you how it happened. You can tell it on the way to town. 
You better save it for the jury. Get going. been well planned. Somebody knew that money was on the train, or they wouldn't have picked that particular train to rob. Well, if the sheriff doesn't get it back, that makes $25,000 the railroad owes the bank. Yes, we'll have to pay your claim for the loss unless... Fellows, you've been saying I wasn't so smart, Sheriff. Miss Marion, I wish you'd stop by the beer house in the morning. There's some things I want to talk over with you about the train robbery. Who were they, Sheriff? Peter Cole, Horse Tail Wright, and Jim Bonner. Jim Bonner? Yes, Jim Bonner. He planned it. I'll see you in the morning. Hmm. I got no claim after all. Well, let's get moving. give us life, maybe you learn this game. telling you, nobody actually saw the men who robbed the train. We'll have to convict them on circumstantial evidence. You mean, just having the money proves Mr. Bonner robbed the train? Of course. Everybody knows Jim had a grudge against the railroad. Not of an unpaid claim of his. But I told him his $2,000 claim would be adjusted. I heard him say he was tired of waiting. And I can testify he knew Ben was shipping the money on that train. But that doesn't prove he robbed the train. No? He had a motive that morning, an opportunity that evening, and the money that night. If that don't convict him, I'll turn in my bag. Yes, all the evidence is against him, but I just can't but help you. You wouldn't be a woman if you wasn't sorry for a man in trouble. Well, if he is found guilty, how long will he be in prison? Well, the rest of his life. That's the penalty for train robbery in this territory. I'll walk down to the post office later. I haven't got my mail yet.
Wait a minute, I'll make that line.
with Jim Bonner. Did he go on that train? Why, well, well, yes. You wire ahead to have him arrested in the next town. Me and the boys will be there in an hour. Camp out here another week. Maybe you'll learn this
Bill Murdoch and his boys are headed for town. Yeah? It looks like they'll get there just about the train time. Better go into action, boys. $25,000 by Express, Cattleman's Bank at El Paso. I'm sure. Well, that's a load off my mind. I don't like to keep that much money in the bank with Jim Bonner and his gang still loose to rob me. Aren't you afraid they might hold up the chain again? Of course they might. Because that's for the railroad to worry about. Yes, I suppose you're right. Well, i got to get back to the bank.
come up out of there. Pretty good, Jim. Pretty good. <laughs> Perfect. Here, horsetail, take these. Well, those might have gone off, Joe. Jim, the sheriff's coming up there with a party. Ah, give him time, he'll get here. Apology, Jim. I reckon you do. Here, yours. and talk to him all you want, Ben. Thanks for walking in so easy. Now I know where to find you when the bank examiner gets through with your books this evening. What do you mean? You know you played Jim Bonner for a fool. Well, he not only figured out how you planned the robbery, but why you did it. And I'm betting he's right. And you better put the money in the safe. The money is in the safe. You mean you had the money in the safe all the time and they were chasing this? I knew you were right. I believed in you. Thank you. 